Sam and Chris here from Guitar.com, and we're over at the Eastman stand with our good friend Papan, and we're talking through with a super cool new Romeo. So, Papan, what can you tell us about this new model? Well, it's uh, a brand new electric guitar with, that we have designed from the scratch up, and when I say we, I actually mean Otto D'Ambrosio, our master designer, who, yeah, it's just, he's just a miraculous guy, because what he did with this guitar is just amazing. I think the, the lines and the curves, well, judge for yourself, look at the guitar. The crazy thing with this guitar is that we wanted to add a new flavor to the uh, to the Eastman sound. Uh, as most of our guitars have humbuckers, this one has humbuckers too. All our guitars have set necks because we don't do bolt on, this one has two. Still, this one has the F style sound, which is quite ridiculous. If you look at the guitar, you see a, a, a semi with a, a laminated mahogany back and a solid spruce hand carved top. Uh, and to Lola humbuckers. So normally you would not expect any Telly Strat kind of sounds, but they're in there. In the end, Apparently you don't need to have like a push-pull to get like a single call sound out of a Lollar humbucker and this guitar proves it. It's, it's ridiculous. So why was now the right time then to go ahead and design your own body shape? Well, this is a project that we've been doing for two years because at Eastman we always try to find our own thing. At Winternam we did the double top uh, acoustic guitars which is something that is, a, that is a, a, an original one for us. And with the Romeo we First of all, we wanted to create an instrument that didn't have a model number, but a model name. And we love that. And uh, I can also sh tell you that this is going to be the first of a whole range of electric guitars, because with this guitar, stuff is so easy. We can blow it up, it's an arch top. We can shrink it and give it a, 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 a solid wooden, and then suddenly it's like a telly kind of style guitar. You know, there is so many possibilities with this shape, and Otto did such a wonderful thing. And yeah, if you look at the headstock, it's also, brand new, it's got the, the Goto 510s, uh, so everything on this guitar is I think original, like the back, I mean, what a, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you man. But obviously we're super big Eastman fans at Guitar.com, yep. this is their first original model, what's your opinion on it, what are you thinking? I think uh, the surprising thing about it is just how much range it's got, you know, and how much it does, because you look at a guitar like this and you might, especially with a spruce top, you might be thinking this is a jazz box, you know, and but it, it can do that for sure. But there's all the other stuff that there's an airiness, a breeziness, a kind of stratty kind of uh, sort of spring and spank to it. And then you can get almost like a telly style grind down at the bridge with some overdrive. And so you've got all that stuff, you know, but it can do kind of fatter, dirtier rock sounds as well. Beautiful kind of pristine clean. <laughs> So that's kind of maybe what you'd expect from it, I guess, yeah. And then um, if you go in the middle and back the volume down a little bit, you know. You know, you got more kind of stratty, kind of like fendery stuff going on, maybe back up the volume a bit more. But then go down to the bridge and uh, turn the volume back up and you've got, you know, kind of. And some of that kind of telly type stuff here. You know, which is almost like Townsend then, you know, so it's kind of the range and the amount of sounds you can get out of it is really, really impressive. A lot of the questions that we get for the Romeo is does it have a center block? And it does not have a center block. There is a block beneath the, the, the stop tail and the tunomatic because you have to you have to put it on something. But other than that, the guitar is hollow without giving you the problems that you might uh, encounter with a, with a hollow guitar where there's a lot of feedback. So there, it's, it's, it does it all in my, in my opinion. Papan, what can you tell us about this T59? It's in a violin finish in black. Yes, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the antique varnish finish in, in antique black. And we tried to do for the first time, we did like a, a heavy antiquing. So there's a lot of dings and scratches and the black is such a good color to do that with because it, yeah, it scratches easily and it's better to, to, to heavily ding it. And uh, Hua Rong, our, uh, um, yeah, she's the varnish lady as we call her, she does all these kind of things and she just did this for the first time in a heavy antiquing, it's incredible. Again, it's the Lollar pickups and the funny thing is we were just listening to, to Romeo 
and it's the same Lollard uh, proprietary Eastman uh, humbucker, but it sounds completely different in this guitar, just completely. While it's still a humbucker, same humbucker, different guitars sound completely different. And uh, we've got the, uh, the aged golden uh, USA Bixby, uh, Ebony fretboard. We did some, some appointments of that we do on the SB57. The SB57, it's got the, the diamond inlay, it's got the five-ply binding. Uh, so it, it really, we wanted to give it that kind of uh, really good look. And uh, I think it came out incredible. Also, this is the first prototype of this model. So can we expect any changes or addi yeah. additions in the second ver version? Well, well the, the, the current Goto bridge that we use on this one, this is prototype one. But the, uh, the 60 pieces or that will be worldwide, 50 in, uh, 25 in the US, 25 in uh, Europe, 10 in China. Uh, that will have the, the vintage style, slightly smaller bridge. Uh, but that's, that's the only change. Other than that, this is the guitar. It's got a real kind of clarity and a, a breeziness to it. But, um... Immediately puts you into that melancholic style of playing, doesn't it, with the whammy bar and... Well, yeah, I mean, I, I reach for a Bixby on hardtail guitars, like, involuntarily. I can't help it because I just, I, I play guitars with Bixby so much. So straight away, this, you know, it just feels great. And, the, and like, everything about this, like, the, the geometry of it and the, and the setup and everything, it works great on this guitar. And they, they've done a fantastic aging job on the gold hardware. With the gold, you are very easily, you go through, and, you, and, and, and the gold plating just starts disappearing and then you might as well throw on uh, an aluminum looking. So when you do the gold, we have uh, an absolute specialist in the workshop. Uh, his name is Wang Xiaoping and I'm very happy to, to name him. He, wouldn't, he, he couldn't be prouder because he did just such an incredible job. I took as many pictures as possible from old Golden Bixby's, gave them to him and he started working and I got a lot of pictures. That's always on WeChat, China to me. And we're looking, and yeah, he nailed it just really spot on. And it's, it's a hard thing to do because trying to get all that, that, that black off, we've got a brand new one. Just to show you, I mean... The difference is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's, to, get, to get the black off is just incredibly hard. And, and, and he does it with a smile. He's an <laughs> incredible guy. Fantastic new guitars from Eastman once again. See more from this, head over to guitar.com. Uh-huh.